Today, on You're Watching a Movie with Silas Lindenstein, I am reviewing the new film, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. You're watching a movie with Silas Lindenstein in the theaters you find us. So go on and press play and rewind us. This speech that is timeless. Love it like it or we lose it, can't find it. And we ain't keen on being reminded about the film if it isn't tough. We spend a lot of time at the cinema. It's just me and my friends, we watch plenty stuff. For movies, yeah, I've been above. Whether big or they small, no, for me, don't make a difference. Love them You're watching a movie with Silas Lindenstein in the theaters you find us. So go on and press play and rewind us. This speech that is timeless. Love it like it or we lose it, can't find it And we ain't keen on being reminded But the film, if it didn't hit, no, gotta lose it Watch movies with my friends, bringing joy, that's the blueprint So come on and let's do this, leave pain behind us And relax your mind, come watch a movie with Silas Hello everybody and welcome to your watching a movie with Silas Lindenstein I am your host, Silas Lindenstein Welcome. Today, I'm reviewing the new film, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. This is the latest Ghostbusters of uh, 2024 from whenever you're watching this. Who knows how much further this could go? They seem to have endless tales that they can tell. Uh, This film uh, brings us back to New York City after the the last one for uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife was took place in a small town. Uh, we are back to the big city in this one, and it, it, and it's pleasant. It's a it's a fresh film. It's fun, and I'm really excited to talk about it. Frozen Empire is rated PG-13, so feel free to bring those little ones. Is it how scary is it? Uh, I mean, probably 13 is probably a good age for it. Uh, I think it's got some ghosts in there. Can they handle the ghosts? Some scary ghosts. Some scary demonish i I mean they're all ghosts i guess but some look a little more demon like uh i mean if they can handle the previous ones it's probably probably fine this is a comedy fantasy runs one hour and 55 minutes written by gil keenan and jason reitman directed by gil keenan uh the cast big cast returning from the previous film we have paul rudd carrie coon finn Wolfhard, McKenna Grace, Celeste O'Connor, and Logan Kim. Uh, returning from the original film, the original set of films, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, Andy Potts, and William Atherton. And then we have two new people to the franchise in the form of uh, Komel Nanjiani and Patton oswald uh big cast so a lot of these are supporting characters but even some of the supporting characters are pretty important roles as you know as has happened in the past it's in let me let me me break down the story for you the the spanger family returns to the iconic new york city firehouse where the original ghostbusters have taken ghost busting to the next level when the discovery of an ancient artifact unleashes an evil force, Ghostbusters, new and old, must unite to protect their home and save the world from a second ice age. Isn't it always the ancient artifacts? Why do we even dabble with them? Why do we why does one mess with ancient artifacts when they they always unleash something? How I, I mean, I guess I guess there's probably a lot of ancient artifacts that don't, and they're not movie worthy. Because who wants to watch a movie about something that doesn't release an ancient artifact? Uh by the way, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry about my my nose. I can't do anything about this at this point. This is the best I can do. This nasal voice for right now. Um, this is pollen season, and I got to get this review done. It's trying to get trying to make the weather go away for a little bit but i I had to do it so it's done so i sound a little weird today and i apologize for the next one hopefully i sound normal again side note that's a side note okay don't don't include this in the main main review anyhow uh my reaction my initial reaction to the film is this is why I 
fell in love with movies. The, this kind of movie, it, it had it all for me. It was, it was, it was entertaining. It was funny. It was uh, personal. I think one of the things I like about the Ghostbusters franchise, most of them, is they managed to get, aside from the gigantic apocalyptic element, they will get a side story that is very down to earth, very intimate, something that I can relate to. And when you're working in a fantasy world, that's important. How, how does the audience relate to them? Let's find characters, even supernatural ones, even maybe ghosts. How can I connect with them? A personal longing that they have. They want to just reconnect with their family and let that be the, the thing that I can understand and I can relate to. I can't understand the world domination. I mean, I've played Risk, so I, I, I get that in some ways, but like I don't get it in a, in a real way. But these human things that they can attach and side stories to make you understand, to make you feel like the teen, the teenager who wants to be heard. They, they did that and it drew you in. And that's like, you know, all the movies I grew up on, which sides like Ghostbusters, Goonies, uh, weird science, these like, I'm a kid, but still understand, still listen to me. It has that. And yes, it's funny. The special effects are great, but like, I, I mean, oh my God, I'm, I'm old. I grew up, the special effects are so good now. Even when they're bad, they're still like, still way better than I would ever see. Uh, quit, quit your complaining, sir. But, but what I think they're really good. Um, and some of them are funny. I, th- I, th- I, think, I think they do a great job throughout the film of building tension, relieving with comedy, building more tension, relieving with comedy. It keeps going up and up. This one is more, I would say it probably feels like more comedy than the last one. The last one had a little, you know, it was the undertone of somebody had died. So, and I'd even say, I argue a lot that the original Ghostbusters was not that funny. Like it was a comedy horror, it had some funny parts, but it was, there was a lot of seriousness to it. And I know Afterlife heard, it got some criticism for being too serious. Like, oh, you forgot the laughs. I, mean, I thought it was humorous, but. I thought it was back down to earth and, you know, I was like, oh, this, this was, yeah, more serious. Okay. I get that. This one definitely goes for the comedy and, and I liked it, uh, but, but it's not, not, not too far. Right. So I, I love the best things about this film, the humanity. I love how it connects you in an intimate way. I love, I love the writing throughout the film. Uh, love the story. I, I think the casting is just superb in it. Like everybody is perfect in the roles. I lo- and the, the, the Paul Rudd is the guy who's standing in as a place as a stepfather, but not actually a stepfather yet. Uh, trying to see, figure out what his place is in this relationship. And I love how that is almost as important as solving this, the ghost issues, right? Because, that is important. That that's the most important thing, and that's what we're going to relate to more. And they do a great job of that. On the negative side, there there are there, there there's a couple points where I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense. Somebody, there, there's a couple little plot holes, minor, I would say, uh, but they are used to drive the a character forward, and where they misunderstand her intentions. And that has to happen for the for the thing to go forward. But it's like, wait, but she was helping people out. That's obvious. That doesn't make sense. A couple of little things like that. I don't want to get into too detailed. But, but you can expect that in a movie about ghosts and catching ghosts and busting ghosts. You're not going to be, you're not going to be perfect probably in the realism. I guess, unless it's real, I don't think it is. But uh, yeah, so a couple of plot hole issues there. Um, but other than that, it's a solid time. It's a solid time in the theater. It's. I don't know what more you could ask for, in a film, a Ghostbusters film, I should say. I don't know what more you were looking for, other than to be entertained 
laugh, and then move on with your life. I think it'll stick with you. I think there's a bunch of stuff stuff in it that'll stick with you uh, long after you've left the theater, and that's important. Um, the 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 lesson of the film. There's a there's a couple in here. I think it's it, it it's that you don't judge someone by their age judge them by their abilities there's something about patience about being patient and that's maybe a message for the teenagers sometimes you got to follow rules right um and and i there's i, I don't want to see this this is a part of it that I, i'm afraid of spoiling that i don't want to trying to bounce around how I spoil it because there's the the bad person is not really a bad person. So one of the bad people, but they're not really a bad person who, uh, befriends one of the ghostbusters. Um, doing what's right will reward you something there there's something there you uh it's funny it you can't live with yourself when you do something bad you can't live with yourself even if you're dead right so you have to that's that's something to think about like it's these movies try to educate like it's it's often about doing the right thing right do the right thing even if you're dead even if you're dead you should do the right thing okay and that, that's something i will take forward is this film rewatchable yes uh i think i think in uh more more than some of the other ones, probably. Uh, I look forward to seeing this again. I, I will. I will happily watch this with my kids when they're ready. Uh, the older one, whenever she's ready, like yeah, I, I look forward to this already. It is a movie I'm looking forward to a second viewing, and that's that's definitely not that's not all movies for me. I'll tell you that. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward uh, to to another showing on this. Um. The, the this film I, I just i just can't say enough good things about it i think i think you should uh you should go watch it uh you know obviously in my scale of love it like it or lose it uh that you all know i'm gonna give this a love it because I, I did i did absolutely love the film i came out so happy and and and, and i think it's it was unexpected. I didn't watch any trailers on this, so I, I had no idea what to expect. Uh, I'd see, you know, commercials were come on occasionally, and I'd see the Frozen stuff happening on it. But I didn't. I didn't want to be. I was so afraid I would be disappointed that they kept going in this, and then and then it would turn out bad. And and I'm so happy. Like this could end up making it one of the top franchises, right? Like of having this many. What is this six now? And I'm one of the I'm one of the apologists for the female Ghostbusters. I, I I did enjoy that. I don't want you to tarnish my reputation on that. Judge me separately, unless you liked it and agree with me. Then hey, we're we're together. Uh to have six films out now, and have over half of them you're doing well on. I think that's good. I I think that's good and fine. So. There you go. Uh, that's my review, folks. That's it. I, not, I don't have a lot for you on this one to dive into. It's it's a it's a funny, fresh film that I will be happy to watch again and again, and I hope you will too. Uh, and, and <laughs> this uh, some of the joke. Okay, so one 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 more thing. I got a comment that I love in the in the 
and I think they started this in Afterlife, where they accepted that the Ghostbusters universe that these like the music video and the song was like stuff they did on their own and they, they started merchandising and stuff. So I love acknowledging that there's merchandising around Ghostbusters in the world of the Ghostbusters movie. There's a lot of fun that can be done with that. Right. And they got to play with some jokes on that. I love that they've, that's sort of an unexpected twist that they, they did with, uh, in the movie that they that ever I mean, they started in the last one a little bit and lean into it more in here, um, yeah, and and all the actors are great, just just a great movie. Go see it, okay. And and when it, and when you're done, and you want to talk to somebody about it, call me. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters or Silence? Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, Thank you for listening to this review. Let me know. Do you agree or disagree? How did you feel? Please leave a comment if you're watching this on YouTube uh, or wherever you can leave a comment if you're listening. Uh, Do you agree or disagree with this? my take on the film? What did did you think? Tell me. And hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when a new review comes out. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you for watching a movie with Silas Lindenstein. You're watching a movie with Silas when it's time in the theaters you find us So go on and press play and rewind us This speech that is timeless Love it like it or we lose it can't find it And we ain't keen on being reminded About the film if it isn't tough We spend a lot of time at the cinema It's just me and my friends we watch plenty stuff For movies yeah I've been above Whether big or they small no for me don't make a difference Love them You're watching a movie with Silas when it's time in the theaters you find us So go on and press play and rewind us This speech that is timeless Love it like it or we lose it, can't find it And we ain't keen on being reminded But the film, if it didn't hit, no, gotta lose it Watch movies with my friends, bringing joy, that's the blueprint So come on and let's do this, They pain behind us And relax your mind, come watch a movie with Silas Yeah, yeah.